Another G.I. Joe Classified Series unboxing, this time Spirit Iron Knife. With a ton of awesome accessories, it looks like. And they kept the eagle. I love that. What I don't love is this artwork. This is horrible, very horrible looking artwork for G.I. Joe. See, this is the artwork I expect. Realistic looking. Okay, number 36. Hopefully I'll remember to flip the image around when I upload this. But this artwork is horrendous. It's terrible. It's just, it just does not fit. It just looks like a, looks like some weird modern art nonsense. Why is modern art so ugly? Well, discuss amongst yourselves. All right, let's open the box. That's what I came here to do. Open the box. Two pieces of tape on the top. Now, well, might need that much later. Box, box, box. Yay. And just a small little pamphlet about where it's made, caution, small parts, whatever. Oh, you have to attach the wings. Oh, it's got removable wings. Fold it in or out. Oh. Take a look at the bird first. Bald eagle. It's got articulation. Little head. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, the original didn't do this. It's got wings. Oh, he's got even leg articulation. Oh, look at that. And come down and get a fish. <laughs> I like that. He's got little pegs in his feet. So I guess he's supposed to... Oh, yep, there's an attachment on the backpack. I like... <laughs> I really like this figure so far. Just for the eagle. Just for the eagle so far, I like this figure. Two wings. And they come out real easily with ball joints. And is there a, all right, yeah, I guess there's a right and left to it. Well, that does look pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> Except if he was actually flying f to catch fish, put his talons out, and then his wings would go back as he's diving down. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> it's almost worth the price alone just for the eagle. <laughs> okay. I like I really like this eagle. I really like it. Just pop the folded wings back in. I think that's the right way around. I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, I had it right. I had it right the first time. Okay. Well, I've never been around a bald eagle before, so I don't know. I don't think I'm going to need the belly song anymore. Okay. Let's get Mr. Spirit out. Uh, and they don't put file cards with these anymore, so I can't tell you what tribe he's supposed to be. Um... If I remember correctly, he was his birthplace was Taos, New Mexico. So 
Could be Navajo, Hopi, Apache. I don't think he's Navajo. I don't remember. Uh, Airborne was Navajo. Because I'm half Navajo. And that's why Airborne was one of the figures I got when that wave came out. Back in about 84. 83 or 84. <laughs> For some reason, my parents never got me this figure when I was a child. His articulation is pretty good so far. At least on the elbows. Wrists rotate. Arm moves like it's supposed to. Okay. There's no snapping or popping sounds. Okay, this shoulder is stiff. I don't want to force it. Because I've seen what happens when you try to force them. This head sculpt looks really good. Really good paint application. Really stoic face. I like the buckskin sheath on there. That's, that's awesome. He's got two mag pouches on the back of his belt. Another small pouch, probably an IFAC. Two more pouches on the front of the belt. And then he's got a uh, Western style belt there. You can see the silver belt buckle. They should have made the center turquoise. The centerpiece on his belt buckle should have been turquoise. All right, let's get the fat pack out first since that seems to be the easier one to take. Um, yeah, got a post for the eagle. Looks like a ammo boxes of some sort. These black ones, a couple pouches. Um, I'm guessing he's gonna face this way. And he will just purchase on there. And the backpack, just like the original, has got a peg in a hole. Leg articula- oh, that did not feel good. That, yeah, wow, I feel like I'm going to break the leg at the hip. That's very stiff knee. Whoops. Boot rotates. There's some articulation forward and back on there, over there. Yep, uh, very stiff. Yeah. I feel like I, I feel like the hip joints are gonna break if I try to move his leg forward too far. That's not good. That is not good. And two pieces of tape holding in the weapons. So, uh, the video's going on longer than I thought. It's the longest one so far for me. And he's got a uh, knife, some type of forged blade. Survival hunting blade. Oh, it's got a tiny little skull on the pommel. Now, let me get out of frame, see if it focuses. Uh, nope. Not going to focus. Let me just slide the blade in the buckskin sheath. Oh, it looks like he's got one frag and one smoke grenade on his harness there. Well, he's got a fairly large pistol. Oh, it's got like an eagle etched into it, like an eagle with its wings spread out, half the body. I believe it's a 1911. I believe that's supposed to be a 1911. It's got thin grips for a 1911. Uh, I don't know if the eagle's going to show up on the slide. So it's got an eagle head towards the 
serrations on the rear to slide, and then the wing extends towards the muzzle and extends downward onto the frame. Let me, let me throw some light on there, maybe. Mm, no, not really coming in. Oh, well. No, just trust me, there's a eagle on there. Uh, my drop leg holster. Which, I'm not a huge fan of drop leg holsters. Especially if they're only connected to you on the thigh and not attached to a belt. I feel like this holster will just keep sliding down. And you just have to keep tightening the belts on that. No, thank you. As a second knife. Okay, this is probably his survival utility blade, since it's got serrations. Probably uses the other one as his fighting knife. Sorry. Got it. And finally, his service weapon. Which, if I remember, the original one, it was some type of bolt-throwing rifle, like little uh, crossbow bolts. So rifle wasn't a crossbow, but it shot like little javelin arrow type things. This one, I'm not sure what the real-world equivalent would be. Oh, I think the mag, yep, the mag does come out. That's probably some type of 7.62 NATO. Rifle. It's a bolt action rifle. Oops. It was out of frame there. It's got a suppressor. Looks like a pretty decent scope on there. Looks like it has an adjustable uh, stock. Well, ch at least for the cheek weld. And see there's a maybe yep there you can see there's a bolt for the action okay so now he has what's basically a sniper rifle instead of his old uh, 80s counterpart whatever rifle that was it was a fictional rifle not a real world rifle back in the 80s so a rifle that shot tiny little arrows. Well, it's G.I. Joe. Maybe it was a rail gun. Having a little difficulty getting it in his hand. I'm trying to remember to do this on screen. Oh, there we go. There we go. Try again to try and hold it. I forget what the name of the eagle was. Freedom. I want to say freedom. I don't remember. I think he's definitely worth picking up. <laughs> Might be my little bias for being an Indian, but he's got a lot of cool accessories. I think he's definitely worth adding to your collection. The only drawback is these hips. Get to about right there, and then there's resistance. And right there for the left leg, I, mean, I don't want to risk breaking the hips. Uh, some type of leather boots with uh, spats. I still think he's definitely worth picking up. Well, that's about all I have to say about that one.